Spring has come, and it's time to get our bikes and camping gear out of storage. We'll be bikepacking modified versions of the Texada Ridge Runner route and the Ten Lakes route near Powell River. After grabbing a few last minute items, we set off to ride to the southeast tip of Texada Island. With freezing temperatures, a bit of rain in the last few days, we were hoping there wasn't any fresh snow on our way. ever lightly snowing. You probably can't see it, but trust me, it's very lightly snowing. That is really nice looking back on it, hey? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> After what felt like a never-ending climb, we stopped at the summit of Bob's Lake for a quick rest and a snack, before continuing on to our destination at Anderson Bay. We were fortunate enough to only encounter the remainder of the spring snowmelt, which was completely rideable. Time to enjoy the descent. think of Texada. Oh man, pretty hilly. <laughs> Up and down. <laughs> wow. Excuse me, sir. Can I have Perrier instead? <laughs>
Alex, What's how up? do you like off-road bike packing? It's great. It's really good. I recommend it to everyone. <laughs> Nate, give me a play-by-play -play of what's happening. What we've got here is a special weather system. It's moving in from the south, coming into the north. We're looking at about pea-sized hail coming down in what I would, what I would characterize as a heavy form. It's troubling, and I don't know what to make of it. It's getting pretty hairy out there. It's getting pretty hairy out there. Just woke up. We're gonna be leaving our campsite here, heading back up island. A wicked hailstorm this morning, but everything seemed to dry out. And uh, time to hit the road. And yeah, another good day, lots of climbing. Let's get it. Suffer fast. Love walking around. <laughs> This climb out of Anderson Bay is very, very steep. It's like 20%. Lots of hike a bike. After an hour long hike out of Anderson Bay back to the summit, we were treated with some amazing descents back to the west side of the island. It felt good to be back at sea level, knowing that we had done some of the toughest climbs of the trip. We even had a strong tailwind to push us to camp for the night. Last night. Oh my god, that was a good chair. Yeah. Hey, what's up? We're just gonna leave our campsite here at Shelter Bay. Beautiful campsite, awesome views, lots of generous firewood to make some fire. And we'll be leaving Texada Island this morning, heading back over to Powell River and spending a couple of nights there bikepacking on the Sunshine Coast.
After a quick ride on the Willingdon Beach Trail to check out some items from the Forestry Museum, we made a not so quick detour to Townside Brewing for some well earned beverages. I was doing this is harder than I'd like to admit. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be fun. And I'm like, here we come. This hut on Anthony Island is wheelchair accessible and is available to campers and hikers of the 182 km Sunshine Coast Trail, which passes by Inland Lake. I hope I never have to learn how to do that. <laughs> Wait, how would that work? Hey, good morning. We had a really awesome day of cycling yesterday, wrapped up our time on Texada Island and came up to the Sunshine Coast. We finished the day with this 13 kilometer loop around Inlet Lake. It was really flowy, really loamy. Spirits were high and it was a really fun time to ride. Had a nice little camp here at the cabin and we're gonna continue on, head up to Fiddlehead Cabin for tonight and then tomorrow we'll be heading home. Our last full day of riding followed the 10 lakes route, which as you can guess followed by a dozen lakes to our destination at Powell Lake. It would be one of our longest days in terms of distance covered. We also heard that there were a few grizzlies spotted in the area, so we were on high alert.
After a long day in the saddle, we ate all the excess and extra food that we had and enjoyed the sun setting over Powell Lake before turning in early. Tomorrow, we would have to get up early to head back south to Powell River and catch the ferry back home to Vancouver Island. <laughs> this is a cool video. Look <laughs> tough. The next morning it rained very hard during the 30 kilometer ride back to the ferry. My GPS accidentally took us up a wrong road and we wasted about 45 minutes. It was raining so hard and we were biking so hard that I neglected to really take any video. We would have missed our ferry if it wasn't late by an hour and a half. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.